don't know what's going on, but we got some problems, all right? Everybody think it's always somebody else that's the problem, right? It's always your main fault. But what do we have here? Mm, mm, mm. Bronx teacher Mercedes Luriano used school email to solicit hookups, threesomes, investigation reveals. Girl, mm, mm, mm. child, let me go through that picture quick because I don't want no trouble from YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. Shout out to the Bronx. Shout out to New York, my favorite place in the world. But y'all acting crazy right here, okay? Y'all better go do something with your teachers because your teachers is out of control. Not just NYC. Not just NYC, okay? Send your kids to private school, even though that don't even matter either because they be out there doing only damn fans. So good luck to y'all, okay? Just good luck to y'all with kids. A Bronx teacher used her Department of Education email address to pursue her own sex education Soliciting threesomes on Child. on Craigslist. <laughs> oh my God. This is 2023, y'all. And exchanging lewd photos, a probe revealed. Mercedes Mercy Liriano, who last made waves when she helped cancel the white principal at MS-224 and Mott Haven over racism. Y'all, goodbye. Good, like, I'm about to shut the stream down right now. I know you effing lying. O-M-G. Yo. Yo. Mercedes Liriano, who last made waves when she helped to cancel, we all know what that means, the white principal at MS-224 and Mott Haven over racism allegations, used her school address for the raunchy exchanges, according to a report by the Special Commission Investigation. So, Mercedes, you couldn't have gotten a Gmail account, child. You couldn't have got an AOL account, child. You couldn't have got an iCloud account, child. You couldn't have gotten a Yahoo account, girl. 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 Hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you taking the time. You already got eyes on you because you went woke to cancel the damn white teacher because I'm pretty sure she probably looked at you one day and you said, that's a racist that is a racist. You can't look at me because I'm a Spanish woman. I'm assuming that's what she is. Okay. I mean, this sounds absolutely ridiculous. Damn less. <laughs> I cannot believe that we're using the school email in order to get our sexy on or something like that. Shout out to who is it? Your sexy back. Um, Justin Timberlake. Voluptuous sexy AA female. Oh, this is her ad. Voluptuous sexy AA. Oh, she says she African American. Oh, hell no. Yo. Mm, mm, mm. Black women taking another L. Now, don't get mad at me because I had her on um, Spanish, Puerto Rican, Hispanic. She advertising voluptuous sexy AA female looking for dominant. CPL W4MW. So woman for man or woman. I don't know what CPL is. Not, then don't type it in the chat if you don't, if you know, because I don't know and I don't want to get in trouble. The subject line of one email exchange said, according to SCI, oh no, black gold women. This is on y'all. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. He, hey, still wondering if you're still interested, the email read. The 50-year-old English teacher also, this was what we're doing at 50. Like, what is the retirement plan, y'all? Is the retirement plan to use the school email to go ahead and set up threesomes off a, off a Craigslist? And that's how you're going to ride out for the rest of your life? That's how you're going to ride out for the rest of your life? That's your retirement plan? Child... The 50-year-old English teacher also asked in a message, so what are you willing to do and not do? 
I asked because for us, we both need to be pleased and would want to please you too. Have you done threesomes before? I hate you, biatches. I can't stand you, biatches. You heard? Whew, child. Let's go slowly because, child, you never know what this picture going to be. Mm, mm, mm. All right, child. All right, Kendra Cam. Shout out to Kendra G. Liriano solicited sex in at least eight emails from December 2016 to September 2017. Listen, y'all, she went and made that big old ruckus with that teacher. And they said, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They said, humming, coming at ya. Shout out to Escape again. Because this is half damn crazy. What did you think was going to happen? You was just going to ride off into the sunset and nobody was ever going to say nothing and you was all all good in the hood. The least you could do is not do anything wrong. If you're going to sit up here and call someone to be fired, make sure you've got your um, T's crossed and I's dotted, I's dotted, T's crossed, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Indecent photographs were exchanged and one of the emails contained pictures of a woman's vagina and a woman's buttocks. Oh, jeez. I can't do it. I cannot do it, y'all. I can't. What is going on? This woman is 50. I'm not saying she don't look good for 50, y'all. Okay. Shout out to her. Body is tight. Them boobs look nice. I'm just saying, come on. This is the retirement plan. This is where we're at in 2023. I can't do it. I can't stand you, Biatches. I swear I cannot. Shout out to when you like to know. Thank you so much for the support, hon. He says she's doing all this with an EDU email address. That's what I'm saying. After you didn't cause the ruckus and everyone knows who you are because you got the damn teacher fired all over racism because you already know. Should have known that she was black from that. <clears throat> I was trying to give you biatches a break, but you, I, can't gi I can't even give you a break. I thought this woman by her name was Hispanic and she black, Negro. Oh, y'all just be down bad at all times. Shout out to the Squeegee Kid. for Thank you for the support as always. Payment in the form of Beyonce tickets is accepted. You know what? That probably is in her bio, honestly. It, I wouldn't put it past her. I would not put it past her. She going on Craigslist. I didn't even know people went to damn Craigslist anymore. But that's just me. I'm just old. This is not what I'm doing with my spare time, but you know, to each his own. Uh, the married Liriano sent bikini clad photos of herself with a message that said, hello, my name is Mercedes, also known as Mercy. Here's some pictures of me. Hope to hear from you soon. Damn, she got to send the pictures right away. <clears throat> the email started around the time uh, Patricia Catania took over as interim acting principal of the school. In February 2019, Liriano claimed that Katania told her she wasn't allowed to teach black history. Katania contended that she merely told the teachers she needed to have an adequate lesson plan, legal papers say. Miss Loriano immediately went on a loud tirade throughout the hallway. So in other words, she was acting typical in the main office of the school, screaming words to the fact that I could not tell her she could not teach black history. Mm, mm. Mm. So the employee is telling the employer what the employer can't tell the employee what to do. Is, is that what we just said right now? Is that what we just said right now? So in other words, everybody can do whatever the hell it is they want from employer to employee. Employees don't have to listen to the employer and they can walk up and down the school hallways acting like a banshee. And of course, no one is supposed to say anything all because she's basically out here having a fit. Shout out to black women and women who act like teenagers and children. OK. Because that's exactly what that sounds like, a temper tantrum. <clears throat> all because she can't teach black history. <clears throat> don't follow the direction of my employer at the at the um expense of potentially losing my income i'm a black woman and i can do what i want sis shout out to blade day walker in the building appreciate you thank you so much for the support and being here on a saturday night ladies night he says now she qualified for them benefits child please don't get pregnant man please 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 but you're right 
You are absolutely right. If they let her go, because you know you let this woman go, you know she's going to say white supremacy, discrimination, and racism. Got to be very careful. Um, Katina wrote that in a deposition submitted as part of dueling legal claims over the matter. So uh, typical, <clears throat> typical. Got to have the back shot, you know, at least look, look, you know, I'd be looking at the back. At least it looked like she lives someplace decent. Hopefully she don't get evicted now that she's on her way out. Allegedly, maybe we shall see, or maybe we won't. But odds are you suing the daggone place that you work at. Why would they keep you? I'm just saying I could be wrong. Shout out to the squeegee kid for the $4.99. Appreciate you as always. He said, teaching black history and being an adult star is a human right. I mean, of course. Of course I want to uh, be an adult star. I'm sure she's about to go to OF. Of course that's what she's about to do. This is her MO any daggone way. So she really could still be working there, getting her benefits, her retirement plan, and whatever else that she's supposed to get. And have been on OnlyFans and had the two not even met. That's what she could have done. But you know, you're not going to tell me. You're not going to tell me. You're not going to tell me. Mm -mm. Y'all already know how it goes. I'm pretty sure since she was running up down hallways like a banshee. That's exactly what she was saying. Katina said she became the victim of a smear campaign by Liriano and others that led to her demotion. Liriano's lewd emails came to light in January 2021 as part of the discovery process in the lawsuits. <laughs> you dummy. Liriano resigned in September 2021 and SCI, SCI recommended the DOE, child, all the acronyms, place a problem code in her file that could prevent her from further employment in city schools. Mm, mm. Mm. be ruining your own futures child y'all oh this is the principal this is patricia catania who was a part of the smear campaign you know the one that she wouldn't listen to her boss wouldn't listen to her mm -hmm. her online resume says she is now teaching in georgia shout out to the georgianians whatever you're called Y'all going to go ahead and entertain this? Mm, mm, mm. Her husband of 15 years, Jeffrey, died suddenly. Oh, the plot thickens. Her husband of 15 years, Joffrey, died suddenly in January 2022. According to a GoFundMe appeal, she started saying he had no life insurance. Mm, mm, mm. Although we had been through many changes, God had seen that we could make it as a family these last couple of years. I see why. We had to end things on good terms, she wrote. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. So this is what y'all paying for? Y'all, well, I guess they ain't paying for it. She's just out here doing the damn thing on Craigslist at 50. Child. Can't make it up. Um, the uh, Liz, Liriano, through her lawyer, denied the allegations in the report and said she was never contacted to defend herself. Of course she's going to... Girl, we do not care. Girl, you lost the job. If it was worth it to you, F it. You know, I'm just tired. I'm tired. Y'all do what you want. Have at it. Enjoy. Take all of the daggone um, consequences to those actions because none of this makes no daggone sense. All right.